So imagine you have a broom in between your hands, a big long broom. So you're hand, holding onto one end with one hand, the other end with the other hand, and your arms are gonna move as one. As you reach out, you're holding onto that broom, moving your arms as one. For ceiling reaches, imagine that your spine is like one of those breakable glow sticks. So every time you reach your arm up to the ceiling, you're feeling that crack, 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 that breaking up of tension down the spine, just like your glow stick. Imagine you're on the bow of the Titanic and you're flying. The tight tummy. Release your chest into a western Nebraska wind. Okay, so we're going to start by rounding your lower back, tucking your bum under, and we're going to cross our arms. And just imagine taking out those big, thick sweater over your head, crossing your arms. And then as you lift that arms up above your head, just imagine that sweater floats up over your head towards the ceiling. Reach one arm up, relaxing that shoulder as you pull the arm up. And we're just going to imagine someone is grabbing your arm and pulling your arm up towards the ceiling. So you're Reach. Now imagine you're walking a dog on a leash and he's pulling you further. Imagery for neutral elongation could be that you are a puppet on a string. So really pulling up through the top of the head is going to help us twist better for rotation on the spine. Tilt in the neutral seat. Imagine that your hips are a bowl of water. Soften the knees, hands on the bowl. We're going to tilt the bowl backwards until the water is spilling out. Floor, trying to find our neutral spine for sit-ups. Long, still glass. Or right now, to use a margarita glass with a nice long stem. You know how they spill. Place that glass on your abs. Tilt down your nose. Your glass is going to slot between your legs. Tilt up. The glass is going to fall on your chest. And center it out. Remember, our margarita is like $12. And we don't want to waste any drop of that. Breathe, engage the core, keeping that nice little S curve, nice margarita, no slopping and spilling. That's your neutral spine. And I want you to think about resisting through on the way down through some peanut butter. So reach up and stretch and resist through that peanut butter. Press into your feet, get under it, and push. Imagine lifting a kayak under the roof of your car. For correct alignment, it's a side lunge. Push your hip down, and to keep your arm next to your ear, imagine that you're stuck between two panes of glass. That'll prevent the arm from coming forward. For the correct alignment, it's side to side lunges, and to keep the arm next to the ear and the hip pushing down, imagine that you're a piece of toast stuck in a toaster oven. I use for a fly cushion. It's come out. Visualize the pole in your hand. You have a nice line. Remember, the water's there with the fish. And we have to gently come back. And as you come up, bend the elbow and let the line release gently down into the water. Sweep around again. Prepare. A little bit of power here. And then relax and roll through. And up. And throw that line. Softly in the water, not scaring the fish away. And one more up and land down, and you just cut yourself your fish. For side leg lifts, imagine there's a dotted line at the edge of your mat. Each time you lower the leg with resistance, try to connect the dots and reach out a little farther. To ease into windmills, imagine that you're throwing a softball gently from side to side. Reach up, over, flip your palm. Now you just quit your day job. Push everything off your desk. Push it away, push it away, push it away. All the way back so you never have to see it again. For side leg lifts, imagine that you're a mermaid or a merman and your legs have now become a giant fin. Lift your fin off of the mat, lower it back down slowly. Imagine you're sweeping your arm to a heavy stage curve. 
We have a hot air balloon. Visualize it is pulling you up as the air ignites the balloon. The balloon floats up higher. Breathe. We float up with the balloon pulling us up. Then they gently lower down the gas. You're still pulling up though as you lower down. Still being pulled up. Great. Brilliant. Balloon float up. And tuck under and gently float down, staying pulled up in the spine, and float back. To keep the hips level and pushing down towards the floor in side to side lunges, imagine that you're balancing a book on top of your head. To keep the eccentric contraction in your abs on the way down from a sit up, imagine you have a marble in your navel. Try not to let the marble pop out. To continue pulling out as we come back up to neutral spine, imagine that you're following the trail of a rainbow. And we're coming up and growing taller as we get all the way up to the middle of the arch. To pull up and out of the clock position, again, follow that rainbow by growing up taller, coming up to the center of the rainbow. In the airplane hamstring stretch, to release the hamstrings, Drop the booty and imagine you're drawing a smiley face with your bum. Release the hamstrings and then straighten before going back into the stretch. For pulling weeds, you can imagine instead that you're reaching down and picking up a heavy torque wrench. And about halfway up, it's going to turn to plastic so that we can easily toss it behind us. Instead of pulling weeds from the ceiling, you can reach up and imagine grabbing a hold of a star and pulling the star down. You can imagine instead that you're picking up, you're picking up, picking up something, that's for sure. <laughs>